Hello friends, this video on gravitation part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to part 6 before going ahead with part 7. Comes the problem 1. It says calculate the acceleration due to gravity on the earth's surface is the first part. Second part, at a height of 1.5 into 10 to the power 5 meters from the earth's surface. Given, radius of the earth is equal to 6.4 into 10 to the power 6 meter and mass of the earth is 5.98 into 10 to the power 24 kgs. Now let us first evaluate or solve the first part. So in the first part, we have to calculate the acceleration due to gravity on the earth's surface. So what is the value of acceleration due to gravity on the earth's surface? It is gme divided by re square, right? Now here we already know that the value of g is 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11. Me that is mass of the earth is given as 5.98 into 10 to the power 24 and the value of re is also given as 6.4 into 10 to the power 6 whole square right now if we calculate this we find that it comes out to be 9.74 meter per second square so this is the value of acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the earth now let us look at the second part in the second part the question says find the value of acceleration due to gravity now let us look at the second part the second part it says we have to calculate the acceleration due to gravity at a height of 1.5 into 10 to the power 5 meters from the earth's surface. So this is the scenario of value of g above the surface of the earth. So at a height of h is equal to 1.5 into 10 to the power 5 meters. Now from what we have derived some time back, we know that g at a height of h from the surface of the earth. Okay, so we see, we already saw that the value of acceleration due to gravity at a height of h from the surface of the earth is capital G M E divided by R E plus h whole square. Right? This is the value of acceleration at a height h from the surface of the earth. So g instead of g m e by r e square it will be r e plus h because the distance of the point at which we want to calculate the value of g is at a distance of r e plus h. Now we will put the values again it will be 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 into 5.98 into 10 to the power 24 divided by Re plus H. What is Re? Re is 6.4 into 10 to the power 6 plus H is 1.5 into 10 to the power 5. See, in this case, you can use both the formulas. Either you can use this and calculate or you can use G of H is equal to G into 1 minus 2H by Re. So here if we calculate this we get 6.67 into 5.98 into 10 to the power 13 divided by 6.55 into 10 to the power 6. So this comes out to be 9.30 meter per second square. So this is the value of acceleration due to gravity at a height of h from the surface of the earth where h is equal to 1.5 into 10 to the power 5 meters. So I hope these are clear to you now. How do you put the formulas while solving problems? Now let us go ahead and look at few other problems. Let us look at this next problem. It says calculate the mass of the moon if the free fall acceleration near its surface is known to be 1.62 meter per second square. Radius of the moon is 1738 kilometers. So here we are given that the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of moon is 
1.62 meter per second square and the radius of the moon is 1738 kilometers which if converted into meters would be 1738 into 10 to the power 3 meters and we also know that capital G is equal to 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 Newton meter square per kg square. Right? So we have to calculate the mass of the moon. This is radius of the moon and we have to calculate the mass of the moon. Now we know that acceleration due to gravity, the expression for acceleration due to gravity is GME. Till now we were talking about earth. So we said G into ME. So here it would be MM divided by RM square. Right? So this would be the expression for acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the moon. So this would be G is equal to GMM divided by RM square. So from here we can say mass of the moon is equal to G into RM square divided by capital G. Now we'll put the values here. It is 1.62 into 1738 into 10 to the power 3 whole square divided by 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11. So this comes out to be 7.34 into 10 to the power 22 kgs. So this is the mass of the moon. So I hope it is clear to you how do we apply the formulas which we studied some time back. Now we will look at yet another problem. The problem 3 says, calculate the mass of the sun from the data given below. So we have to calculate the mass of the sun. Mean distance between sun and earth is 1.5 into 10 to the power 11 meters. Time taken by earth to complete one orbit around the sun is equal to one year. Right, so let us suppose if this is the sun, this is the earth. So the earth rotates around the sun, let us say somewhat like this. So what would be the force of gravitation between sun and earth? So the force would be equal to g into mass of the earth into mass of the sun divided by distance between sun and the earth that is r square right now what is r r is the distance between the earth and the sun this distance so what is this distance this distance is equal to 1.5 into 10 to the power 11 meters right and we already know the value of capital g now, when the earth is moving in this in a circular fashion, that means there is a centripetal force which is acting. Whenever any object moves in a circular path, a centripetal force comes into play. Now, the centripetal force would be given by mv square by r, that means me, mass of the earth, v square divided by r. r will again be this distance, that is the distance between the earth and the sun. Now this force should be equal to the force of gravitation because only then the movement of the earth around the sun would be balanced when the centripetal force which acts towards the center is balanced by the gravitational force exerted by the sun on the earth. So F should be equal to Fc. Therefore F should be equal to Fc. Now what is F? F is equal to G into Me Ms divided by R square. This is equal to Me V square by R. Now what is V? Let us try to calculate V. V is the velocity with which earth is moving around the sun. So velocity is nothing but the distance travelled divided by time taken. So what would be the distance travelled here? It would be 2 pi into R. 
2 pi into r. What is r in this case? r is the distance between the earth and the sun because 2 pi r would be the circumference of this circular path. So that means 2 pi r divided by time taken to complete one orbit and the question says that time taken to complete one orbit is one year. That means t is equal to one year. Now one year means 365 days. 365 days would mean 365 into 24 hours. This would mean 20, 365 into 24 into 60 minutes into 60 seconds. So that means one year would mean these many seconds. Now we will use these values in this equation. Therefore in this equation we can write this will be me into 2 pi r by t whole square and divided by r. So me by r into v square. Now we will put the values. So we get g m e m s divided by r square is equal to m e into 4 pi square r square divided by r into t square. So r will get cancelled with this r. M E M E will get cancelled. So we can say mass of the sun is equal to 4 pi square r cube divided by g into t square. Now here we will put the values 4 into pi square pi is 3.14. So 3.14 square value of r is equal to 1.5 into 10 to the power 11 so 1.5 into 10 to the power 11 whole cube divided by the value of g is 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 into t squared so what is t t is equal to 365 into 24 into 60 into 60 whole square now calculating this value, we get 2 into 10 to the power 30 kg. So therefore, the mass of the sun is equal to 2 into 10 to the power 30 kgs. Fine. So I hope you understood how did we calculate this. In this case, this is our earth. This is the sun. The earth moves in a circular orbit. Therefore, there is a centripetal force which acts. Now, the centripetal force which acts on earth should be equal to the gravitational force which acts on the earth due to the sun. So, this is the gravitational force. This is the centripetal force. So, we equated both of them because in equilibrium, both of them should be equal. That is when the earth is moving stable, moving in a stable manner along, around the sun. That means these two forces must balance each other. And then we have just substituted the values which are already given to us. I hope with these three numericals, the, at least the basic idea of what is acceleration due to gravity, how it varies with distances from the surface of the earth and how to use the formulae for solving problems. All these things are quite clear to you. Now let us go ahead and study the further topics. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.